Hello, my name is Dr. Tasha and I'm a breast cancer surgeon. If you'd like to learn more about breast cancer and health, then this is the place to be. Welcome to the channel. If you have just been diagnosed with breast cancer, you may be wondering what your treatment may look like. How long will it take and what does it involve? In this video, I'll be going through an overview of what breast cancer treatment may look like and talk about what to expect. So let's get started. People may think that breast cancer is, well, breast cancer. There is only one type and everybody gets treated the same way. Well, this is not true. Contrary to what people may think, there are actually many different types of breast cancer. From invasive versus in situ, ductal versus lobular, estrogen positive versus negative, and so on. And so breast cancer treatment is very much tailored and individualized to that particular person's cancer. And that is why breast cancer treatment varies so much from one person to the next, and it's impossible to compare them. So what does breast cancer treatment entail? Well, it usually involves many types of treatment. This can include surgery, chemotherapy, immunotherapy, radiotherapy, and tablets or endocrine treatment. Some people may get all of these, and some may only get a few of these. For some, surgery may be the first recommended line of treatment, and for others, it may be chemotherapy. Broadly speaking, there are two types of surgery. Breast conservation surgery, for example, lumpectomy or wide local excision, or a mastectomy with or without reconstruction. The kind of surgery you'd be recommended to have will depend on the type and the size of the cancer. If the cancer is small in comparison to the size of the breast, then breast conservation surgery would be possible. On the other hand, if the cancer is large or there are more than one cancer in different places within that same breast, then a mastectomy may be recommended instead. Expectedly, the less invasive the surgery, the quicker the recovery will be. How about chemotherapy? Well, the need for chemotherapy is dependent on many factors. The type of the cancer, whether it expresses the estrogen receptor, whether the lymph nodes are positive for cancer cells, what the grade of the cancer is, and so on. An oncologist is the doctor that you will need to talk to about chemotherapy in more detail, should you need it. They will discuss the types of drugs you will need, how many cycles you will have, the potential side effects, and what to expect. Again, the length of treatment and the type of treatment does depend on the cancer type. Chemotherapy treatment can last a maximum of anything between 18 weeks to 24 weeks. And yes, chemotherapy is the treatment that causes hair loss. Sometimes this can be mitigated by wearing a cold cap, and this is something you can talk to the oncologist about. How about radiotherapy? Well, radiotherapy is x-ray treatment, which again is something you'll be discussing with the oncologist. If you have breast conservation surgery, it is likely you'll be recommended to have radiotherapy as part of your treatment. If you have a mastectomy, then the likelihood of needing radiotherapy is reduced, but not entirely eliminated. So you still may need radiotherapy if the cancer was large or there were any cancer cells within the axillary or armpit lymph nodes. Again, the duration of treatment depends on the cancer type. Radiotherapy usually happens every day, anything between a week to four weeks. Let's talk about endocrine treatment. If your cancer is estrogen receptor positive, it is likely you'll be recommended to have endocrine treatment or tablet treatment. Sometimes this can be given before surgery to reduce the size of the cancer to facilitate breast conservation surgery. Otherwise, this is usually the last treatment that you will have. So it's given in tablet form. You might have heard of tamoxifen or letrozole and you take it once a day. What drug you get depends on a variety of factors, including your menopausal status, whether you've had a history of blood clots or strokes, or if you've had cancer of the womb, amongst other things. And this treatment can last anything between five to 10 years. So this is a very broad overview of what breast cancer treatment may look like. Again, it is important to reiterate that treatment is very much individualized and you can't compare different people's treatment. Thank you for watching. Do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.